Good morning, I'm Pastor Tim Gauger of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Rockford, Michigan, and this is your isolation meditation for Holy Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. Holy Tuesday because it's Holy Week. And on this day, during Holy Week, Jesus and the disciples returned from Bethany where they had been staying each night. They returned to Jerusalem and the temple area. It was Jesus' intention to spend the day teaching people but instead, much of the day was spent fending off the verbal assaults of his, op of his enemies who opposed him. The Pharisees, the teachers of the law, the chief priests, they came at him with all sorts of loaded questions, ridiculous scenarios, uh, trip, trick questions, all designed to embarrass him and take him down a notch in the eyes of the people that had packed the city for the Passover celebration. But our Lord faithfully and deftly handled every loaded question and ridiculous scenario. He did so by relying on the scripture and being very mindful of the reason he was there in the first place, to offer himself as the sacrifice for sins. After dealing with this opposition, Jesus took his disciples out of the city and they sat down on the Mount of Olives overlooking it. Here Jesus concluded his teaching ministry with his disciples gathered around them, answering their questions and explaining the spiritual truths that were about to unfold. The writer to the Hebrews says in chapter 12, verse 3, Consider Jesus who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Consider Jesus no matter what you are facing today, no matter who you are facing. Consider Jesus, that he endured what you and I must endure, and so much more for us and our salvation. You might have to face people who are opposed to you, just like Jesus did. You might have to face forces that are set against you, just like Jesus did. You might have to face your own fears and demons today. Jesus faced all of these for us and our salvation, and he never wavered. He never blinked. He was always faithful because we're not. He understood that, and that's why he endured it. And therefore, because that's true, today, no matter what you have to face, you will not grow weary. You will not lose heart because you have in your heart your Lord and Savior, triumphant over all enemies and all opposition faithful to you to the end. Consider this as you make your way through this day. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you tried to teach the people in the temple on Tuesday of Holy Week, but your enemies opposed you at every turn. Thank you for facing them for us and enduring their opposition. Be with us in what we must endure today, mindful of your truth and your love. God bless your day.